What is good? Is your 2023 first good? I don't know, but we about to find out. So I hope you guys joined us for like the first five videos of this six part series. But we asked everybody what they would do with these 2022 picks if they would trade them for the 2023 first. So we're getting into that 2023 and I, we, I felt like it was necessary to pluck all those little pieces out of that five hours of content, six hours of content and make it into its own little video. So you guys have it all there ready for yourselves to go. Uh, so we're going to hear from all these experts. Shout out to everybody that joined us. Can't thank y'all enough. I'll put them up on the screen. Bop, 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 bop. Uh, they joined us. They, they, they stuck with us, and, and, and they're going to give us so much information. I hope you guys go back and check out those videos. But all in one little nice little bundle, what should you do with your 2023 first round pick? Because that shit's on fire. Should you hold it? Should you trade it? Who should you trade it for? Should you make this 22 pick or should you just bail for the random 2023 first? We're going to get down to the nitty gritty right now for your pleasure. Let's start the show. You guys can catch Ryan over at the DLF uh, Dynasty podcast. They put out a show each week. Um, I was listening to the one a few weeks ago where you guys were talking about the 23 class and, mm -hmm. you know, where would you trade uh, these rookie picks for the 23 class? Um, and, and we've been – we use that kind of a as a catalyst, been asking all the guys that we've had on, um, which, you know, for the listeners, we've recorded these guys each, each – kind of different nights um and, and so ryan's one of the last ones to go so we've heard a lot from these other other uh industry guys that have been that are that you're going to hear from in this mock and we've been asking them which if their pick if they trade it for a random 2023 first which obviously i'm not going to ask you if you trade Brees Hall for a random 23 first right you can't do that I, you know i don't even want to dignify that <laughs> response with a question right so but on the show i was listening to you know uh you were asked if if you could project it to be a top three pick next year if you're looking at a really really bad team in your league would you trade Brees Hall for projected top three 2023 pick you know I don't think I would I mean you if you've got Brees Hall in your pocket with that 101 pick do it. um you know a lot of things can happen and as much as we love Bijan Robinson and we love some of these quarterbacks coming in um there's a lot of time for things to happen, either those players to lose value through uh, through injury or, or poor play. Uh, you know, maybe – Stay a year. Um, you know? Right, exactly. Maybe they stay a year in school. Maybe they, they get that big NIL deal. deal. Right. Who knows what could happen. Yeah. So it, if you've got that running back and you, you really believe in Brees Hall as a potential top five dynasty running back, which value-wise he's almost there already anyway. Right. Uh, but if you believe in him, I think you just hang on to him. So what what would be the line of uh, demarcation there where you would move that pick for the twenty for a random twenty three right. first? Yeah, it would it would be higher for me maybe than many, just because I, I think after Hall you're looking at a lot of wide receivers and and I like I like all those guys right I like all those wide receivers in that range I would be glad to have them on my team. But I think right now that's kind of the strength of uh, of the dynasty landscape in general is just all those wide receivers, right? Sure. Um, I mean, there's there's 30 or 40 that we're really excited to have, and and now you add these five or six rookies at the top of the class in with that group um, because of the depth of the wide receiver position and knowing if I've got the two, three, four, five pick, that's probably what I'm taking. You know, I'm I'm probably willing to trade the the three or four or five if I think it's potentially a non-playoff uh, first rounder. Uh, and if it's just random, you know, no no idea at all, uh, then certainly anything after five is up for grabs. Okay. even So Kenny Pickett not in that conversation, you're, you're, you'd trade it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, yeah, Pick, Pickett's not really in the conversation for me. Even, even in a super flex league, I, th I think I would probably have him – I think I've got him ranked 11th right now in, okay. in Superflex rookie rankings. Gotcha. All right. Well, Ryan McDowell, 1-1, one, one, Brees Hall. Merry Christmas. <laughs> we'll see you for two weeks. <laughs> Thanks, ones. guys. Yeah. Sounds good. Well, everyone knows our feelings on Kenneth Walker. We love the guy. Uh, I, I guess you could call us truthers. Uh, one follow-up <laughs> question. Would you trade that pick 
for a random 2023 first. And and if if not, then where would the line of kind of demarcation be where you would say, hey, I'll sell this for a random 2023 first? So there's four players that I wouldn't have done it with. Kenneth Walker is one of the four. Nice. Um, I'm not as high on Traylon Burks, so it would have been four of the five that went ahead of, of me here uh, and, and Kenneth Walker, but not Traylon Burks. So anything one, four or later, but here it would be one, five or later because I got Kenneth Walker. So after one, five, I'd be willing to. Gotcha. So we've kind of asked everybody this question in, in the first round. Where would be the spot where you would trade out of that spot for a random 2023 first? Like, is it 1-4, 1-6, 1-8? Like, what's the spot where you would give up a random 2023 first to trade you, out? You, you, yeah, you'd, you'd get the 23 random right. first Sorry. to trade Poor your 22 wording. pick. Get rid of my pick. Um, the spot would have probably been about four months ago <laughs> <laughs> no uh, it's, i mean probably right in that range 104 to 16 yeah i mean yeah i'm a huge Bijan proponent like gibbs the, the the next class is loaded as far yeah. as i mean not just the running back position so i mean honestly if you're if you're looking to acquire 2023 first you might already be too late yeah. All right. Well, so we got James Cook reluctantly at one nine. And if you're well, listening to this mock, <laughs> no one's trading their 23 first because every single person has been like, I got to get that 23 first. So, yeah, yeah exactly. All right. We'll, we'll see you back for the two nine. Sounds good, fellas. So real quick, back to Olave before we get off this pick, and we've probably gone too long as it is, but uh, would you trade that 110 with Olave there for a random 23 first? Oh yeah, without question. Yeah, yeah. see ya. Yeah, yeah, without see question. Okay, I'd grab okay. Point class. Straight out of the de- the Devi Devi Royale. There you heard it. Would you trade Go. a random twenty three first for Jamison Williams? That's a little bit more iffy. Um, it, all right, you know, Ed, all right. If it's going to look at twenty three first that. this way. Okay. Yeah. So look at twenty three first this way. If you're if the tr- pick we that also you're had trading, some already coming in. So now we're the cut. We're not barren of twenty three first. We now had we had. Is right. the team going to make one. playoffs that traded the pick? Um, we traded our we own traded pick. traded someone else's pick. I don't know yeah, exactly which... whose pick it was. Uh, we feel like our team, we took over this team. It's like our only orphan that we've taken over, and we decided to tear it down. And so yeah. we kept yeah. our pick. Uh, we had the 1-1 this year and uh, earned the 1-1. And, you know, maybe things turn around if Saquon comes back and crushes and Brees Hall and, and we got Lance. Actually, we traded Lance for Trevor. And if so, there it, things could go well where our pick is in the mid range, you know, but we, we kept ours and then traded the other one away. Not exactly sure. That's why I just, just a random, you know, it, it, could, it could be anywhere from six to, to 11 or 12, you know. I mean, I, I don't yeah. think it's a, it's a top, top pick that we gave away, but who, sure. you never know. I mean, sure. It's hard you to predict know. that. You know, I just, a random 23 first. We did, we, I think we threw MVS, the we threw theme. MVS in the deal as well. Oh, okay. yeah. I see you. <laughs> I mean, he was he was a dead asset for a minute there, and all of a sudden he got revived. If that was going to make the deal happen, here you go. Um, yeah, and if you believe in Jameis Williams, I, I think that's a fine deal to do. You know, you, you're getting a, still a young guy, and um, yeah, I, I don't blame. I, I don't have a problem doing that deal. Um, I I don't know it right now. Just the intrinsic value that are sitting on 23 first, mm-hmm. I have a hard time not moving it for a an established, established player. player. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want like one of those established guys that are like 24 years old. That um, you know, if I can throw a like a Jacoby Myers or some like eye candy, that you'll still get some production. But here's your 23 first, right. and like that's the moves that I would be looking to get those. But um, I have been gobbling up as many as I possibly can in my leagues. I'm sitting most leagues. I'm sitting about three to five deep on 23 first. Yeah, we we came in with with. Uh two and some seconds and some thirds and we got so like i said if saquon goes off he's probably gonna get we'll probably try to move him and get some more for like there's assets on the team to try to acquire more first so we just decided let's just start three wide receivers we had no receivers trying sure. to build that receiver room um we took we got Brees, burks and jameson uh in this draft um That's and then, doing some work so good job there yeah jameson was hitting at 108 and we we just you know shot up in there and and 
sent uh, the offer to the open bar guys saying, hey, it's the UDP else's industry kind of league where, uh, you know, a lot of guys know know what they're doing in there. And, and they sat on the clock and we we're like, Jameson's hanging around. Maybe we should go because we liked him. You know, we can make an argument for him being at the top of that wide receiver tier you know yeah, I, I think agree. i probably have him at the top of the second tier or at the end of the first tier but i could also i mean he could be the best one in this class so very much so a, very easily a little swing it's a cheaper league too it's only 50 bucks so like i'm like fuck it let's go get let's go get jameson sure yeah. let's let's wrap this pick up with with the question we've asked most uh participants in this at this time is where, where is the line of demarcation that you would trade the random 23 uh, first out, out of this 22 pick here? Is it Would it be your Jahan Dotson? You, 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 always, that you always ask that the wrong way. Were trying to, we're trying to get what, – what, which of these 22 picks would you trade away to get the 23 first? The random 23 first. Yeah. You know, it's uh, – I think – and I like Dotson, but I, you know, if you're sitting there at 111 and you can get a random 23 first, so, you know, uh, in the rookie big board, I, I, you know, assign a, a value and then kind of like a tier to players, right? And so I have Dotson as a seven four, which, you know, would fall in my uh, flex filler, or I'm sorry, my weekly starter tier. So I think he's going to come in at a nice wide receiver three, wide receiver two, right? You know, if you look at uh, spot 12 right now, and it's early, you know, certainly my summer scouting spot 12 next year uh, is an is an 8.0 right now. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, we're talking about higher upside in next year's class. And if you have the opportunity, you know, I always say if you're trading for a quote random first round pick, you're trading for the 106. Right. The 106 next year, man, we're talking Jordan Addison. We're talking Jackson Smith and Jigba, Kayshawn Boutte. We're talking about wide receivers with a lot higher of a ceiling. And again, I like Dotson, right? But I would certainly trade that 111 for the opportunity to kick the can down the road a little bit. And quite frankly, you know, 23 picks are at a premium right now. I'd argue that they're overvalued at this point. So Big if you can get your hands on one, you know, I think that's a good price and a good buy-in point. So where where would it be where would be on this board where you would say I got to make the pick? Yeah, ah, uh, certainly through one five. I think Kenneth Walker at one five is a steal. Uh, Sky Moore at one six. Uh, that's probably my breaking point if, there. If, I think I'd if rather. If that was a Lave have... though, you would you'd be. Fine. Oh, I would take a Lave over there. That would, that would yeah, bump certainly. down one more. I'd say six picks. Yeah. Okay. Ah, man, I like Jameson Williams a ton. Six or seven picks. Yeah, right at that 106, 107. Yeah. Yeah. We we traded uh, a random 23 first to get 17 and take Jameson Williams in a super flex. That's fair. Uh, That's fair. And that, some people like that. Some people hate it. I think it's whatever you right? feel, you yeah. know? Yeah, no, that's good. That's good. And I'm quite frankly, I'm not a patient dynasty player. Yeah. <laughs> I want my points and I want them now. Yeah. So <laughs> sounds like a, I don't blame you. Sounds like a, 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 a used car salesman uh, or no, uh, uh, the, uh, the, 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 the attorneys, the, the ambulance chasers. I yeah. want my money and I want it now. Like, yeah, <laughs> got we, a lot of those down here. We so did, I don't know we, how you yeah. guys do with those commercials up there, but. We did have another 23 first, so we didn't trade our only piece of the 23 class away. Uh, and we, we traded the one we thought would be worse than. than Which the, is always wrong. So Yeah. I dig it. Always wrong. <laughs> always wrong. All, All right, right man. man. We'll see you back for the uh, 211. I think that was a pretty easy easy pick for you. I got a, I got a, Go I got a question. We'll Go let's interject it here. Would you trade that pick for a random 23 first? Um, if Watson wasn't there, I would, um, okay. considering he fell to the one twelve, which a lot of, in a lot of leagues, you see him gone by the one nine, one ten. Yeah. So yeah. if he wasn't there, like if I was staring and I'll look at the guys that are a little bit behind us, like if I was staring at George Pickens, yeah, I'd have traded it. We know you don't like him. What about James White? I don't like, I hate the guy. I'm just <laughs> saying, like, if you're asking me, am I going to invest you in like, George Pickens? Love him. Or am I going to kick the can down the road and maybe I Fair. get an upgrade of the of the pick in next year's draft or at worst I'm sitting at the one twelve again? Right, right. Then yeah, I mean I'm gonna kick the can down the road versus like being like, Yay, let's go, George Pickens, and I'm so, just gonna stare at the screen like him. And, and I get that. I can't even argue with that, kicking it down to the twenty three class given where Pickens was gone here. What if James Cook was there at one twelve? 
Would you would you take James Cook or the 23 first? Yeah, I mean, I probably would lean the 23 first. Now, I would take James Cook, and this kind of comes to a bigger idea about diversifying. If you have a lot of dynasty leagues, getting exposure to a lot of different players um, yeah. at picks. You know, because you don't want to, like, say, I got 20 dynasty leagues and say, I got 20 leagues where I drafted <laughs> this Christian only. Watson. Yeah. Like, you want to diversify right. and get some different exposures to talented players and some hit, some bust, and, you know. And in that realm, I would have gone James Cook. Outside of that, eh, probably kicking it. Yeah. Fair. All right. All right, so Christian Watson at 112. Again, draft count not everything, but it's a good uh-huh. indicator that they're going to bring you on the field. <laughs> What's the- yeah. yeah, man. What I miss? Not much. I'm gonna let I'm gonna let Troy get out of here. Um, but I got one more question that we've asked sure. everyone before you leave. All right. Of course. Um, where w- what would be the player on the board, or where's the start of the players on the board that you would trade a random 23 first for? So is it like the one through five, and then after that you would give up a, a random 23 first for, or like would you'd rather you'd rather trade this year's pick to get a random yeah. 23 first next year? Yeah, uh, I would say I'm looking towards the back half of the first, like. Uh, Probably 111, 112 okay. is when I would do that. Cause like, respect. Because here's the thing. Hey, like, everybody's I know, ready to sell all these picks for a random 23 first. I'm I know. And, and here's the thing. I, and I know like, the 23 class I know is awesome and great. But I'm like, here's the thing. Like, for example, I see JMO at 1-8, right? Yeah. Like, I, I, I'm not going to just sell that. If I could get JMO, I, he's not always going at 1 8, but like right. that's freaking value there. You like, traded a random 23 first for JMO at 1 8, <laughs> baby. I love to hear that. Exactly. So, like, exactly. So, I'm saying, like, that's to me, that's a freaking still an Olave, like at 110. Like, yeah, 23 first, there's some better prospects, but I'm like, he's in a good situation. And like, James Cook, either James Cook is going to be a, a again, he's going to either crush it or he's going to be just a third you know third down pass catcher right, right. we have no idea right. but again i to me i feel like late first i would just sell random but like again there's guys like sky Moore. could he's a good prospect he's in a great situation like mm-hmm. i'm gonna put some respect on these players i know it's easy to hate on them but uh, like that next year's well, class is always the best. And I know 23 has been touted for a while. And and what if some of them guys in the 23 class right. pull a Chris Olave and or don't come out, Travis you know, and, yeah. and yeah. stay another year, you know, they could, they could easily do that. We have absolutely no idea. We just always assume they're going to declare early and it doesn't always turn out like that. Shit, you see Bryce Young's making more money than Jalen hurts. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> fuck it, I'm going to stay another year and catch this money real quick. Ex- exactly. Like, of course, like those, those, College is awesome. see, those deals. Yeah. Man. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. Exactly. And the rules have changed, man. Yeah. Again, it's more than About it's, time. And it took a long enough, but Hey, Jesus. now college players are getting what they deserve. Right. So. I got a follow up question along those lines. Sure. Right? So yeah, no I, I, I didn't ask it when we were when you were on the clock at one six uh, uh-huh. when you took Sky Moore. So given the twenty three class, the talent, would you trade that one six pick, give away the chance at Sky Moore for a random twenty three first? Random twenty three first. You don't know. So he, you think the team might be? You know, it's yeah. hard. I hate trying to predict. This what is a tough pick one. It's gonna I like be, it though. You know. So, yeah, so my thought process is usually so like if I'm drafting a like so, you know I'm drafting a player in the Pro Bowl tier on AGS. Mm-hmm. There's only really one tier higher than that that's realistic. It's the All Pro tier, and then after that you get Hall of Famers. So you don't fucking pass on Hall of Famers, right? Right. So it's like Jonathan Taylor guys. Like you don't pass on those. Yeah, those are rare. But you have to draft really one one or one two to get Hall of Fame level talents. Like last year there was one of them, and that was Kyle Pitts. You know, the year bef- two years before or a year before was Jonathan Taylor. Right. Next year, probably Bajan Robinson, maybe. Right. He's a pretty, like, I mean, Ladanian Tomlinson esque talent. Like, the guy's good. Besides that, I mean, we're going to have some all pro talent, some Pro Bowl talent. There's not the biggest discrepancy between those two. So I would probably take Sky Moore. All right. Like, if you're talking about if, if I have a better chance of getting a back end of the first round or next year or Sky Moore, I'll take Sky Moore. Um, what about Jameson but, Williams? Oh, I'll take the I'll take the next year's pick. That much sure. of a drop off there between. Uh, I, yeah, I'm not gonna because three Jamison Williams is in the next tier, which is you know you're you're potentially above average pass catchers, which are good players, right? right? But those aren't 
guys I think can help me with my league. A little more uncertainty year. for those guys for you. Yeah, and I don't want uncertainty. Where where we're drafting yeah. is like if I'm at one six, I don't want uncertainty. I want I want the guy I am sure is going to produce or the most sure I can be. Yeah. Um. So I would take. You know, I'm I'm sure more sure about Sky Moore, so I'm okay with taking him instead of the 2023 pick. But with a guy like Jamison Williams, I'll take my chance in 2023 pick because, you know, I think it's going to be four deep at receiver at least. Um, with guys, a guy like Josh Downs will probably go in the back half of the first round too um, in the NFL draft. So he'll have good capital. You know, the running backs are probably three, four deep. So we're looking at 108 plus the two quarterbacks. So that's 110 right there. So my chances of getting a, a player in the Pro Bowl the Pro Bowl tier better is pretty good, in my opinion, for yeah. next year's class. Just looking at what it could be. Um, obviously, I don't know if the, the numbers sure, analytically sure. because this class isn't shaped well, we'll out. We'll bring yet, this up next year yeah. and just see. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, no, I mean, I, I think, you know, a guy like Williams is a little riskier. So I I'd would much rather probably take that 2023. Fair. God damn. We're fucking done. We did it. I'm done with this mock. I'm done with this industry mock. I've done talking to anybody else for a while. We appreciate y'all. If you stuck with us, <laughs> let me get a subscription to the YouTubes. Hey, you're about to be up on this Discord uh, Patreon mock, yeah, Casey. You better. You... <laughs> We're on the Patreon. Yeah, I have mesh shorts on. So dot what? com slash the FF Dynasty. We're doing some, some extracurriculars over there doing some mock drafts thank you everyone that joined us for this mock draft for this industry mock y'all are y'all are saints y'all are doing the lord's work out there appreciate you for get, coming in and giving us all these different opinions thank you for joining us let me get a five-star review on the podcast all that shit we're here man we're grinding we're just grinding it out you know work hard play hard you know <laughs> grind 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 the fuck out of here <laughs> for your pleasure and we appreciate y'all and we'll be back. I mean, we're already we already recorded another show. We're fucking getting after it. We're getting after it. Back like cook cracks. Huh? Fuck around. Appreciate y'all. Peace. Pleasurable, 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 pleasurable. <laughs> Big D, shout out to you, my man. You the fucking man. <laughs>